next victim. So this is how it came in. I'll just bring it over a little bit. I'm, I'm actually, I don't have a, a hate relationship with these little uh, power mowers anymore. You know they're okay for the dollar that they charge, they're okay. So anyway, the, the rewind's been disconnected. You can see that at the top. The owner had trouble starting it, so he took the rewind off. He, he doesn't know, he's just playing. He, he, gave it a, he gave it a try. And the carburetor bowl is loose right there. Can you see that? And the gas line was disconnected. Originally, he, he had a, a pair of vice grips on here. And that's where we are. So let's just get it on the lift and uh, we'll put a few things back together again. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> this has been shaken up, but this is the gas I got out of it. That's all water and, uh, water and ethanol down there, right? Mostly water. The, uh, it turns white when it's first when it's mixed up and then it settles out clear as a bell. So we'll leave that and see how that turns out. It was so he, when he brought it over, it had vice grips on the gas line, so that gas came out of the tank. But I just took the vice grips off, and uh, after we drained the gas into one of these, like. Just drained the fuel and then poured it into my jar. I like the jars because they're clear. So let's just put this uh, rewind on here. It's not that far a bend for me, so I can do it. There we go. There. 10 millimeter bolts. I have. He brought them over. That's nice. All right. Now we're going to see if it fires. Okay, a foam air filter. I like foam air filters for lawnmowers. It's kind of old school, right? Now, I'm going to just get my uh, starting fluid up, which is just chainsaw gas, 50 to 1. Squirt it in there. And I'm going to just give it, a, give it a yank and see what it does. All in all, it sounds kind of healthy. So do you think it was, well I'm sure, do you think it was this water that was uh, causing, the, causing it to clog off? Uh, the carburetor bowl is so close to the deck that you have to take the carburetor off to get the bowl off. That's kind of nuts, eh? So let's put it up on the, on the hoist. Is that our next step? Yes. Put it up on the hoist. Connect the carburetor up. Connect the fuel line up and put real gas in it and see what So I guess the first thing to do, boy, I wish I could get that bowl off of there. Look at that, eh? That's kind of goofy. 
How about if we just run a tiny bit of real good gas through there? Just to rinse the tank. Let me just see how bad it is. And you know what? It looks perfect. Let's just put a little bit in there. I got some really good, really good crummy gas here. We'll just put a, a rag under there. Let's put three or four ounces in here. Ooh. That's dripping out. Right. That'll get the tanks clean. Just use this to wipe the wipe the mower down a little bit. I didn't even check the oil. Well, I'm assuming it had oil when it quit. Hmm, there's more gas there than I thought. Maybe more water coming out, eh? Wiping off all the uglies here. You know me, I like to work on a clean mower. Okay, where's the oil holder on her? Let's put you guys up here. With your eyes open. And Now. <laughs> hey, the oil looks brand new. Now this is a beater lawnmower left outside. I might not do I might not just change the oil on this guy just yet. This is one of those mowers that you would buy for your rental if you own a rental. Which I don't. All right. Now, I would like to look inside that carburetor. You guys see that? Yeah, you can, kind of, eh? I'm going to undo these two bolts. I know, I, it's gaskets and all that stuff. Let's just pull these two bolts off here and have a little look. on the gas tank. We're going to have to get those. I guess it's a package. Okay, a super sneaky one. Okay, you're looking at it right now, right? Look at that. Right in there. Can you see right below my thumb? <laughs> Dirty dog yet. Good. Okay, pan. I know I want to look inside this carburetor. It's not that bad. Well, 
You know, we could do just a squirt clean on this. Because my, in, my uh, ultrasound is not on. I think I'm just going to do a little carb spray out and clean that out. I'll wash my hands right after this. Okay. Spray out the bottom. That's the primer. Now let's just pour a little bit of gas on there so, so the carb spray doesn't wreck any seals. It's a little dark and dirty, but it's okay. Now we're going to get a screwdriver. We're going to take out the idle. Pop this idle circuit out if I can. Yeah, oh, that's good. I'll squirt a little bit of carb spray in here, and we should see it come out um, two places if I plug this hole. Good. Good. It's clean. Okay, that's a dark and dirty clean because I have a seal on the, on the, uh, this is how I did it before I got my, my testing equipment, right? Turn it upside down, blow on here. And that's good. Carb bowl's pretty clean, just a little bit of scunge from the water. Get a brush, wire brush. on that. Pour a little gas on that again. Oh, this has to be, you have to be able to blow through this. Oh, it's not. Okay. Okay, this is the idle circuit. It came out of this hole right there. And I need to make sure that it uh, conducts fuel. And it doesn't. Okay. Jim Yeski gave me this little poker. Now I should spray through there now. I might have made it a little bigger, but yep, it squirts now. I'm gonna shoot it with air. Back down the other way too. Now let's see if we can. Yep, I like it. Let's put this bad boy back together again. And on these idle ones, you just go three or four threads because they never they run full throttle all the time. Good, good bowl. Let's see, it sits on there like that. So you want to see the drain over here? Carb bolt looks clean. Let's do oops, let's do this. I haven't even taken out a nine millimeter or ten millimeter wrench yet. Wipe down some of these gaskets. 
and we'll give this uh, carburetor holder on or put her on her uh, I guess I'm... Oh, 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 oh! I missed something. And this is a hard carburetor to get off, so you don't want to be missing the seals. You with me on this, are you? somehow just to drain it, test it. Come on Bruce. Good. Is that a good take? Okay. Perfect. Now we're gonna blow this off. Get hiding under there. I just saw that. Now this goes, that's going to go on there like, like that. Right? Yep. And we're going to stick it back on the machine. I think you saw me pull it off. I think I can pull this off. Hang on. Yep. Yeah. I'm just going to squirt a tiny bit of carb spray into this mini hole here. Yeah, I didn't see that. Good. And the cover comes out of the uh, little tiny primer holes. I like that. Good. And then exactly the opposite in uh, bolts. This is the one that was hiding. Pardon me, I'm in your way. I've got to do this. Sorry. Nothing's easy. When you're very small engine mechanics, you have to really understand that everything's going to be nitpicky, small, grunt, swear. I've got three sets of profanity that I use. One row here by myself. One for day to day living, and then none for when I'm out in public. Unless you're with friends, of course. Hmm. Let me try the other two, just to see something here. It might help me line it up. I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, this is the problem I was having. So I just took the three bolts off the rewind, the, the hood pops off, and it was this bolt right here on the carburetor mounting housing that wasn't centered. Uh, and I think that's why he had, the, the guy who owns it had, had the rewind off. I, I couldn't understand why he had the rewind off, but I think he was trying to get at that bolt. And that's when I think he gave up. It's just three bolts. You'll see how easy this is. And then a 
course, I always do a hand tighten. Good. So there. Let's just get some air in there and blow that, blow the feathers off the top. It's your only chance, right? Even on an old beater. So now I'm gonna just put the top back on this guy. And we should be able to put some gas in the tank and give it a try. I'm not even gonna look at the plug, because I don't think it's got 10 hours on it. If I had this more, I probably would, but if it starts and runs and goes, more than it did before. Good. Do I have any bolts left? Yes, the gas tank. Perfect. Ratchet. Got a good snort on that one, eh? Oh yeah, of course. You're laughing at me now. There we go. Ooh, tighten it. Put this one on too. Some what you call Ooh, that, that pipe that pipe is no good. Shoot. Okay, so this this little tiny little <laughs> fuel line is no good. Ooh. Probably pull the filter out at the same time, eh? Right here. I'm trying to get this gas line off this tank. Eh? Yeah, I think there's a filter in here that's holding on to everybody. Huh. Yep, we got to get those off anyway because we're going to reuse them, maybe. So he garbled up the, uh, the end of the fuel line. Yeah, there's a fuel there's a fuel filter in there. So I got some of the stuff right here. It's fair in fair condition. We'll just cut it the same length. Pliers. You know, you always just want to do I'm just gonna change this little tiny fuel line. Be right with you. Is that going to fit now? 
one the tank hole, the other tank hole. Good. Okay, we're back together. And if my suspicions are correct, we should be running. One screw into that tank side. One screw into that one. There's another snort on this side. And then it's just the dirty air filter. I'm just going to blow it out. Good. Okay, let's put some goat juice in there. I'm almost out of goat juice. Hopefully it doesn't surge. Okay. And the carburetor doesn't leak. Ooh, this doesn't hold much gas. Yes, I spilled a little bit. Okay. Now we have actually access to the uh, drain hole now. We should see a little bit of gas come out of here. Yep, gas coming out of there like crazy. Come on, Bruce. Ah! Ah! Oh, Marty. Now I know why my neighbor brought it to me. Pardon me, I'm in front of you because I got a leak. Come on. I don't want that thread in there. You got issues? It's too close to the block, eh? Here it goes. Yeah, so he had that loosened off too, and I missed it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, boy. Okay, let's get some rags and wipe that off. This is how the top of the fender lift stays so nice. Lower this down. And we still got some gas in it. We should have. Not even half a tank. I'm gonna see if that breather is on there. Boy, that's a that's a tight little unit, eh? Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. How many pumps? Four? One, two. Lower this down. We're just going to do a quick fire up. Sorry about that. Runs like new, eh? Well, I don't think there's 20 hours on it. Okay, air filter. What a nice oxide you know, I've always said, I don't mind these. Oh, okay, at first I was really, really hard on the power mowers. Until I saw some of the other stuff starting to hit the market. Now I kind of like the power mowers. One more pull. Well, it needs a little bit of love, eh? One, two, three. It's like the book says. Now I'm going to check the blade. I'll be right back and we'll get set up in a different spot. Alright. This has a little more broccoli under here than I would have thought.
Okay. I think the blade needs to be balanced. It just felt off to me. What is that? Five eighths. I'm going to use an air tool. Getting tired. You're going to hear the air. You're going to hear the air compressor, air compressor start on. So. You can't really sharpen something like that. You almost have to sharpen around it, eh? And this side was pretty good. And it wasn't that far out of balance. That's good. It might be even more balanced now. It's not going to come off. It's got a multi-shape adapter plus one stud. We're good. Stick around good and tight though. Move you back a little bit. Fifty-four foot pounds on that one. Okay. Let's just see now. Blade sharpen. Carb clean, blade balance, reassembly, let's go. That's a wrap. We just have to watch for leaks. Thank There we go. I know I shouldn't have used the grinder inside, but it's cold out there. Thanks for watching, guys. Always appreciated it. Appreciated it. Oop, and back you up and have a little look at the little power mower. You know, I'm starting to respect the power mowers more and more, like I said at the, uh, earlier on. Um, this is the wrong deck because you can't take the carburetor bowl off when they, without removing the whole carburetor. But it's a simple operation, you know. There's two gaskets, a primer bulb, uh, the carburetor is easy to clean. It's got old style orifices. Yeah, I like it. Talk to you later.